my we gotta recreate this i'm done we gotta we're mm. we're we are we're gonna create this together found some scrap fabric in my, yes, you guessed it, my fantastical garage. So we are gonna make the headband. I'm just gonna use this. I don't know how it got so dirty, it's so gross, but just ignore that. This is just gonna be our little pattern. Basically, you just wanna do a square. So I'm gonna cut that out. So I cut out my square. I had this little thing that I'm gonna have to mend. Now we're gonna iron it. Make sure the setting is correct so you don't burn the fabric. Hold the edges so we don't have any of these little fraying situations. Just hold it. You can use hem tape too if you want. I mean, it's just a headscarf, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna go ahead and sew it up. Okay, excuse the mess behind me, but it looks so good. I mean, I know it's just a square, but honestly, that's why we hang on to scrap fabric around here. And I do have this from my Versace Thrift the Runway, so I'm gonna use this. But let's get into the makeup, shall we? I'm gonna be using this beautiful aqua shade. I think it was the opening look that Gigi had on. This is by, I never know how to say this, Mina, 3 Mina. And they're like a makeup line from Spain. I'm just gonna take a little bit on this tiny brush. This is from Morphe. I'll have it linked as well. I just got it at Ulta. The outline first, and then we can fill it in. I'm just gonna pull it up on my phone <laughs> real quick. So it comes right in here. Look how beautiful this is. And they did kind of have a little bit of metallic sheen to it, so that's why I really like this little baby. I do want it quite sharp, so if anything, we can just clean up with some Q-tips, but that's kind of it. So easy. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. I'm gonna take another brush, hopefully. Nice clean. I really need to clean my damn brushes, y'all. I'm gonna take this like nice flat brush. I can't even pick a favorite look because I love them all. I especially love like that throwback to the 90s. You know I love the 90s. So the 90s Versace was just so damn beautiful. Just taking that. And this is gonna fill it in much faster than that little brush. This cream shadow is such a dream to work with. Okay, now the best part to match the other side. I'm telling you these are such a dream, 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 dream come true to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my face and we'll finish up the eyes with mascara and all of that. For foundation, I feel a little but I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip. If you guys haven't seen the runway show, oh my god, you have to, you have to take a look. I feel like the attitude was just so good. I actually enjoyed it much more than like a regular runway show. People are showing their runway shows in different ways since like Fashion Week isn't really happening. I mean, some people are doing it, which I think is so weird, but I really like how Versace did it. I'm gonna use this new foundation. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible. And also Pat McGrath did the makeup. I think we got a pretty good match. I ordered it on Ulta. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Ulta just to try out some stuff that was going viral. Oh, my skin is like... No, I feel like I'm allergic to something. I'm so like blotchy. And also, can we talk about the shoes for Versace? Oh my god, the accessory game on that runway was just everything to me. Just to like stomp on my neck, bitch. I'm obsessed, I need to have them, I need to order them, even though I'm a broke bitch. Actually, let's not speak that. We're not gonna speak that into existence. Look, I already have my little Versace cut. I love the way that they do the, the cuts and like the circles and oh, I love the silhouettes. Did you also notice the low rise of the skirts, like how they came so low? I'm telling you, the low rise, just, just pointing it out, all right? You don't have to get into the low rise if you don't want to. I was thinking like maybe we, I don't wanna this up, but let's just see. I'm gonna put Tide Pool, which is the ColourPop one. This one here, I think it'll match pretty perfectly just to see if it adds a little bit of something to the inner corner especially because it did seem like it was shining a there a little bit more than the rest of the eye. Oh yes, I like what this is doing. You know me, I like to jump around from the face, but yes. The foundation isn't too bad. I went ahead and ordered also the concealer that went along with it. This is all like full coverage, which is what I want. 
Ooh, this is more of like a spot concealer for me, I think. I'm gonna go in kind of lightly, just a little, just a little kiss of concealer. Love these ruby. I need to wash my brushes. Okay, that's gonna be today's activity after I'm done. I almost wanna take a little bit of this blue here that's a little deeper. It's called Mad About You. Again, from the same Blue Moon palette. And just kinda hit the border here. Let's just look at the reference again. See, I feel like mine doesn't look as dramatic. Way. I'm not Pat McGrath. I'm just taking Tide Pool. Now I feel like we're good. Love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour. Where is my contour? I'm gonna use this Fenty one. Gonna put some Bella Hadid cheekbones, baby. I'm also gonna kinda chisel my nose a tiny bit. Okay, so we're just gonna blend it out. God, where am I gonna go right now? I'm just gonna deepen everything. You see how excited I'm getting? I just, I love to do makeup when it's like fashion related. And I like get the looks too, don't get me wrong. But when it's just like every day, I think I've done them so much. You know, a bulk of my channel is like these like everyday looks, which are fun and fine, but this lights me up. Okay. They're really bronzy, so that's why I'm like really going in. And I love this. I wish, I don't know if they still make it. My friend gave this to me actually years ago and I haven't even hit pan. I use it so much. It's the best. It's just enough of everything. The contour, the blush, I mean the bronzer and I don't know why I'm talking about it. You can't even get it, I think. So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes with some mascara. Isn't this tube so Versace giving me all the Versace vibes? So we're gonna throw this on and it's really nice and thick so we can plump up these lashes. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this line. It does get a little bit flaky, but it's because of that metallic sheen, you can't even, like you can't even tell, right? Oh. This color is gorgeous. I feel like blue is definitely like gonna pop off even more further in the year. So it's kind of nice to add it. If you don't want to buy clothes and stuff like that, I love using makeup as like an accessory. So much easier than like a cut crease and blending for hours. You just lay that paint down. To be honest, it doesn't really look like they have bottom mascara, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And what I am gonna do is take like a tiny little brush and with my bronzer, I'm just gonna add it to the lower lash line just so I have a little bit of something there. To add a little bit of glow and it looks, their skin just looks really skin-like but still pretty flawless. That's why I wanted like a full coverage. And what I like to do is just always add a little bit of dew. This is so gorgeous. This is Live Tinted, such an amazing brand, honestly. And it's this really nice rose goldy shade. I'm gonna take it with like the little brush that I use to blend out my concealer. I gotta wash these today anyway, so we're just gonna pile it on and I'm just gonna, look at how pretty that is. And you can also use it for your decolletage. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous. It kind of has like a more creamy, almost face glossy kind of formula. So it really does just kind of melt into the skin. But it's not as sticky as like a face gloss. High points, kind of like how I did my glass skincare routine. I like this to have a little lift. Okay, so for lips, I'm gonna use this baby by ColourPop. I love these, I hope they're still available. This is in the shade Field Day. And I'm just gonna add that like right to the line. I'm not like overlining, but I'm definitely going to the edge. I'm on the edge of glory. Okay. <laughs> and I always just like to feather it in with my fingers a little bit, like just pushing it in the inside. Gives it kind of like a blurred not so perfect kind of effect and you don't have to worry about everything looking so. And with this new e.l.f., this is the mint collection. I really love the mint. I'm gonna do like a full tutorial because it is so gorgeous. I played around with it a few times and I'm like, oh, I need to share this because I'm excited. But yeah, this is just the shade mint chocolate and it's like a plumping one as well. I don't really see too much of a difference, but you know, just gloss overall makes your lips look so big and juicy. I don't know why it reminds me of Guadalajara. <laughs> kind of smells like Edadura. You know what I kind of want to add? I'm just going to take a little bit. I know, I can't stop. I want to take a little bit of Lumi, which is this shade here. That does have a little bit of iridescence, like a frosty blue. And just add it right, right here. For a little more of 
its dimension, if you will. Oh, I am all about this look right now. What am I missing? Oh, my brows. Damn, I haven't even touched my brows yet. I'm gonna use this um, Kevin and Kwan. This makes your eyebrows bulletproof. You, If you're familiar with my channel, you know that's like not really my vibe, but because my brow brushes are so gunky with soap brow, like I, I, it always looks so flaky, so I've been really into just using this and it keeps it nice and feathery. I really like it. On the other side, it's actually a marker. So I really like the Glossier Brow Flick. It kind of reminds me of that. I mean, it's the same kind of idea, right? But um, yeah, so I've been enjoying this product basically is what I was gonna say. I just like to pull them and then I'll just elongate. It's very, very, very like natural looking. My lips are starting to tingle. You know what I didn't put on is blush. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this e.l.f. one as well. These little miniatures are so fun. They're so pigmented and great, and they're only like three bucks. They're so good. Let's add it to the little apples here. Okay, we're about to put those accessories on so we can really solidify this Versace look, but I'm so excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Definitely try it out. It's just something fun. Even if you're wearing your mask, your eyes, they're gonna shine. So. Watch me walk down the cake. Walk, watch me cake. Walk down the cake. Watch me walk Take it to the runway. Down the Roll in. You can even go to the Starbucks drive-thru in your sweats. But with this eye makeup, girl, pull up the chicken brown sugar latte. We gotta, we gotta start adding some spice into our lives, okay? If you have not yet, what you doing, boo? Subscribe. Hit subscribe. If you want to stick around my channel, definitely consider watching this baby right here. Little Thrift the Runway Versace. I, it's, to this day, I swear to God, one of my favorite videos. I'm one of the Chanel ones. So I'll just leave the Chanel one here as well. 